I'm the one to shell it Fire the Now Fire. is the gasoline that keeps the flames higher Ignoring Fire. if you wanna be a slave to your desire But this is what it looks like if the death of fame hires Don't command me cause I'm the one to shell it Fire the Now Fire. is the gasoline that keeps the flames higher Ignoring if you wanna be a slave to your desire But this is what it looks like if the death of fame hires What's good everybody? Damn, it's been a while since I've done a video, huh? It's been at least three weeks or so, something like that. But I've been kind of busy these last couple of weeks getting songs together and recording to try to get my material together for this next project that I'm releasing. Now, the album is scheduled to be released October 31st on Halloween. So barring any unforeseen circumstances, that'll be the release date. I kind of want to do this short video, kind of catch you up on the event that we did last month. It was at Redmond, Washington, just outside Seattle. Gotta say, Seattle's a dope place. You know, it was great. We, the weather was great, first of all, and from what some of the locals was telling us, it rains there most of the time. So we definitely came in in a great window. Um, but we got to hang out, and, and we actually, me and my wife, we came in on Thursday. We got lost in Chinatown, but after we got ourselves found again, <laughs> we went to the tour, a lot of the tourist spots. The first day, saw a couple of things, got to eat at the Crab Pot uh, seafood place, which is pretty good. I mean, you know, Seattle's a, it's a coastal city, so much like Baltimore and other cities here in Maryland, it prides itself on its seafood, and the seafood wasn't bad. They don't season it quite the same way as we do here in Maryland, but it still wasn't bad. Then the next day, uh, we got to meet up with a bunch of the other Grand Unified members and hang out. We went to a place called the... Uh, Pacific Science Center, and it was pretty cool. I mean, for me, I wanted to see some more hardcore exhibits, but if you're taking your kids there on an outing, I mean, it's a really good place to go to take them, to introduce them to science, and to cultivate a, a, a respect and a love for scientific achievement. It's a pretty good place for that. Um, as far as the show itself, it was on Saturday night. And I got to say, for this being our first event that we put together ourselves, this was a, this was a, a, a full GU event. This is what we did. It was a trial run, but it came off pretty good. Fans came out and supported us. They were great. People flew in. People drove in <laughs> from out of state. And in one case, um, one fan, he drove in from Canada to come and see us. So it, it was all good, man. It was, it was really good. And um, it was good to see a lot of my Grand Unified members because some of them I hadn't even met in person. Like, we collab on songs and we talk all the time and, and stuff like that on different projects, but we've never actually met each other in person, so that was cool. I want to give a shout-out, special shout-outs, to my brother Adequate and my brother Ogma because they performed with me. And, man, they really threw their heart into it. They really did. They did a great job. I want to thank them for that. And you guys know, we do have footage. As soon as I get my hands on the footage, you know I'm going to post it. So you guys can see it. We did try a live stream. The quality was so-so, you know. But we have better quality video. So like I said, when I get my hands on it, I'll pass it on to you. But anyway, I got to go back and finish doing some recording. So I will talk to you guys later. Thanks. Hey, and by the way, if there's any other areas here in the United States, or maybe even abroad, that you think we could probably throw a show or, or get together in an, an event or something like that, just post a comment or hit me in the inbox or something like that. And um, we'll see what we can do, because we, we are looking for some more venues to go and perform at. So it might not be this year, but maybe it'll be next year sometime when we go out again. We'll try to do it early next year, if, if at all possible. So, um... But anyway, thanks again, and I'll talk to you guys later.